Hi, and welcome back to Golf Life Live. I am now sitting in a booth called Happy Putter. That's right, bud. This is Vikash. He is the CEO, the, the, the Found owner, it, yeah. founder of Happy Putter. Now, if you ever played uh, Odyssey or sure. Never Compromise, yeah. Vikash has had a lot to do with those putters. <laughs> yeah. But now we have Happy Putters. Right. Tell me a little bit about it. So, Happy Putter was based on really a theory in the golf industry that technologies are linear. So when you have them take off in one category, they go over to other categories. It made no sense that adjustable drivers were the craze, but yet there were no adjustable putters. The other thing is, tour players adjust their putters all the time. They have tour reps, which is something right. I used to do, where a player will come to you and say, hey, you know, the greens are slower, or I'm going to try this new putting stance, and so you adjust their putter for them, but consumers can't do that. So we designed an adjustable putter that allows people to make the same adjustments tour players make and basically customize their putter every time they play. Very similar to drivers. Yeah, absolutely. Because right, like you said, right now, the whole crate is adjustable drivers. Right, in exactly. The industry, and you're able to customize this to your own putter stroke, essentially, just by changing a couple weights. That's exactly right. And the other thing is, it's frustrating for consumers when technologies are unaffordable. There's no reason why great technologies cannot be delivered for a price point that's reasonable. And right now, if you want to buy a putter for $100, you don't have a lot of options. You have used putters, you have knockoff putters, right. you got closeouts. There hasn't been a significant technology launched at the $100 price point for more than a decade. You know, with the new Happy Putter, you can adjust your alignment so you can get in, dialed in what you see the best. You can adjust your weight so you can get your distance control down and you get an oversized grip. For $100, that's pretty crazy. You really can't beat that. Yeah, there's, absolutely. There's, I mean, like you said, there's not a lot in the business right now where you get a quality putter for under $100. Well, and the thing too is, what is putting? Alignment and distance control. This is the only putter in the market that allows you to dial those things in exactly to your needs. Right. Talk to me a little bit about the customization on how we are able to, to customize these putters for your strengths. So there's a couple of things, and thank you for asking that. You can go to our website, and there's a video of me actually going, putting you through a tour fitting session mm -hmm. so you can see what we do. The other thing we're doing is we're developing an online diagnostic test, so you could go there and we can figure out what are your visual tendencies. Do you see color better or black and white? Do you see, are you right eye dominant or are you left eye dominant? Do you see lines better or shapes? That'll help guide you into which guide you should be in. But you know, another cool thing is, you ever notice when you pick up a new putter and you putt great with it? All the time? Yes. Yeah, so I do yes. that all the time with tour players and demo guys. I'm telling you, we have this thing called lazy eye syndrome to where you see the same putter over and over again and you kind of get lazy with your eyes. You don't focus as much. We've actually tested it with tour players to where you can dial somebody in. If they use that same putter, they don't look as much, they don't focus as much, and they don't align it as well. So by changing your alignment guides, it allows you to keep a fresh putter. It yeah. sounds crazy, but it works. No, I totally agree because I know I do that all the time is I pick up a new putter and it's like the best putter in the world. That's right. Right? And then, so what you said is ex hitting the right exact. Well, it's cool. I mean, if you can buy, instead of buying, like, when your putter goes stale, now you don't have to buy a new putter. You just flip out your new alignment exactly. guy, right? Exactly. So we have a blade and a mallet. Yep. These are only two uh, styles. We're coming out right with these now. to start with, yeah. Okay. And then talk to me about the grip. Well, it's oversized. A, it's I mean, oversized grip. That's the big, that's the big um, craze now is oversized grip. I think 70% of all putters being sold now come with an oversized grip, and so this comes standard. There's no upcharge for that, so it should be uh, pretty well received. Great, and then just quickly on the bottom, yep. if you can just see the screws that are going in there, those are the, that's the weighted uh, screws that, are, that will be able to customize. That's right, and so right now they have the steel screws in, but you can also put in tungsten if you like heavier putters, mm -hmm. and so um, again, for distance control, a lot of that has to do with weight, and so, but it's, but everybody is very subjective on that. You might like a heavy putter, I might like a lighter putter, depends on your stroke. This allows you to customize what you want based on those green conditions and your preferences. Now, in the golf industry, this term, moment of inertia, sure. MOI, has hit the, the putting surface. What is, how is this in the MOI business? Um, it ranks as good as anything yeah. out there. I mean, really, MOI, it's a, it's a great term and it's true. I mean, basically what that means is you want your putter to be resistant to twist on off-center hits. So the way you do that is by creating weight around the perimeter and on the heel and toe. Well, you can see this is a pretty perimeter weighted butter right. and the weight draw on the heel and toe. So it's a very forgiving product. Now, Happy Putter, yeah. where did that name come from? How did we, how did we come well, up across I mean, Happy Putter? Well, you should be happy when you're playing golf, yes. right? And the golf industry, God bless it, I've been in it for a long time. It's boring, you know? You see these putters, there's just not a lot of personality. Why not be happy? Why not play the game with a smile on your face? And 
you know, we want something, one of the things we learned at Odyssey and Never Compromise is you have to build word of mouth, viral word of mouth mechanisms into your product. Yes. If you're using a happy putter, I guarantee you, your buddies are going to give you a hard time when you make putts or, or miss putts, and you're going to give them a hard time when you make putts. <laughs> and so we want people talking about it. If you're using the happy putter, people are going to talk about well, it. Well, uh, yeah, I'm a happy person. I there think you go, I'm man. a happy person, so this is right up my alley. There you I go, love man. this. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, even just looking down at it, just it's visually pleasing to the eye. Of course, yeah, thank and, you. And that's what I really enjoy about it. And then just taking a couple strokes, I feel comfortable with it. Yeah, well, thank I you. I feel comfortable with it. So, Again, you can customize this to your own putting stroke, which is huge. Well, that's true, and, and I appreciate your kind comments about the design. I mean, really, one of the uh, constructive feedbacks we got in our first product was that it was a little bit too mechanical looking. Okay. So we had tour players and really good players saying, if you could give me that adjustability in a more traditional head, it'll be a home run. Mm -hmm. Well, this is hopefully that home run, so. That's right. Well, well, where are we going in 2017 and then in 2018? Where are we going well, that's with That's a good that question. Well, we want to continue we, like, we believe that in a technology-based industry, the companies who have the fastest rate of innovation win. Mm -hmm. So we want to be consistently innovating faster than all of our competitors. The thing that we try to do really well is we try to listen. We try to listen to the tour players, listen to the good players, listen to, um, to our retail accounts, um, people in the media, and we try to listen to what they say, not defensively, but open-minded and make adjustments. I mean, this putter is a collaboration of PGA Touring Pros, LPGA, Champions Tour players, uh, retail accounts, media, all telling us, you gotta do this better, you gotta do this better, so we listen. So we're gonna continue to listen, we're gonna be out on tour with these products, we already have you know, a, a good presence out there, but we're gonna get hopefully more players out there, we'll listen, and then that will dictate our new product development. We are, we're not great product developers, the tour is great right. product developers, and exactly. we're gonna listen to them and come out with new putters. Where can we get one of these? Well, nowhere until April, okay, because they're coming. They're coming out. But when we start shipping in April, hopefully you're going to see them at your major golf accounts in your area. Um, hopefully a bunch of green grass. In the worst case, if there's nothing around you, go to our website and you can get it from us. Well, I think that uh, if you know anything about putting, if you got your name on it, it's going to be a good putter. I appreciate it's gonna that. It's going to be successful. I appreciate that. So we that. appreciate you taking the time, letting us stop by, uh, and uh, good luck this season. Good luck in 2017, and we'll talk to you soon. I appreciate it, buddy. All right.